Hey guys, I'm Devin Delima. So this week I want to talk about something a little serious and this is highly, highly inspired by, I just saw the title um, from Emma Blackberry's video on her vloggery channel and it's just talking about self-mutilation and things like that. So because of that, this, you know, trigger warning, if this is anything that freaks you out or that you don't want to know about or anything that you don't want to hear about, um, click away. It's totally okay. I'm not going to be offended. Um, but I do want to talk about as someone who has a past of self-mutilation and I'm going to be honest, I never thought that I would talk about this on video. I never thought that this would be something that I would put out there into the world and something that I would very easily discuss. I thought that it was gonna be something that I would hide for whatever, or if you guys saw me in real life that you would just see all the scars on my arm or something like that. But then I started to think, you know what, like I need to put this out there because it could really help someone. And it's, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to do that and I want to help someone. Um, so forgive me if this video is very rambly and I'm probably not even going to edit it. I just kind of want to put it up and not think about it. That's just me being selfish, um, but I'm just going to put it out there. So when I was about 14 or 15, I was dealing a lot with my own sexuality. I identify as a homosexual male and for whatever reason, I just hated it. And it, there was nothing at all in my home life that said, hey, you can't be this way. Um, if nothing else, my parents were kind of just like waiting for me to come out and kind of just kind of like, a, ooh, come on, like we know already, like it's totally fine. Like, can we just get it out of the way so we have to stop pretending? Um, because it was kind of, you know, whatever. But I did obviously go through my own journey with that. Um, and I just didn't want to be gay. And I don't know why. And I think it was because, to me, being gay means that you are, at least in that time, in like 2005, um, as a teenager, you're realizing that it doesn't mean like the best things in life for you at that time. Um, that you were going to have a harder life. That people were going to look at you differently, people were going to judge you differently, people were going to make assumptions about you, and that it was just not going to be okay, and I just wanted to be straight really, really, really badly. Um, and it turned into a lot of self-hatred. And I know that this is very similar to a lot of people's different coming out stories. Um, but mine turned into physically hurting myself. So I started to steal razors from work. I worked at a convenience store and got box cutters and things like that. And I started self mutilating and it was just kind of like a nice release in that way because it felt like this was such a temporary solution to such a long term problem. And it was, not that painful. I built a tolerance for it. And there were a few times where I was just so depressed and so angry at myself about it that I would cut so deep that it, it was really bad. Um, I would see the adipose layer of my skin. And I remember showing it to my brother at the time. And he was the only one I was telling about it. And he was like, you need to go get stitches. Like, this is really, really bad, Devin. Like, no. And, you know, I begged him not to tell my parents that he didn't, um, which I'm kind of glad that he didn't. Um, and I'm sure in hindsight, he would tell you that he should have, whatever. Um, but that's like where we were at. I mean, and obviously he wasn't a trained professional and we were young. He's only four years older than me. So we were just both trying to help each other out there and whatever. Um, it was a it was a difficult time in my life and it didn't end like abruptly or quickly um i was cutting for god i don't even know 
Um, on and off for probably probably since I until I was like twenty two, um, and it's a uh, it's a hard thing to talk about. It's a hard thing to discuss. It's a hard thing to say that like hey it's just gonna end and sometimes it does just end and you're like oh okay then I'm done with this part of my life I'll never do that again but then it comes back and you're like oh okay well I don't know how to deal with anything so I guess I'll just start slicing up my skin again like that's the only way that you know how to deal with things and uh, if these are the only tools that you have set up for yourself to use then of course you're gonna go back to them that being said I encourage anyone who is considering hurting themselves or someone who has hurt themselves, um, please go get help. It is nothing to be ashamed about. It is n nothing that you did wrong because you hurt yourself. Um, people around you just want you to be okay. And if they don't want you to be okay, if for whatever reason you're hearing from your parents or your friends that they don't care please know that I care as someone who went through this I care whoever is watching this video right now who has gone through that I care um, it is a very dark place to be in and I know and I get it um, when you feel like the only thing that you can do is release your own blood from your skin in order to feel better about your day and then you'll just go on and then you get a sick satisfaction every time you like move a certain way and you can feel it i mean it's it's dark it's really dark um i get it i do and just know that i'm okay i'm a 25 year old with a good job who's openly gay now, who lives with the man that he loves, um, and my life is going freaking great, to be honest. And just because these are the moments that you're enduring right now doesn't mean that they will be the moments that you will be enduring for the rest of your life. Now, for me, it went on for about seven years. I can't say that's a timeline for anyone. You might experience this longer, and I'm really sorry about that. And that's sucky. Really, really just straight up shitty and not okay. Um, but you might experience it for a lot shorter, and you might feel like you're just doing it for attention. And you might feel like, like you're not really, you don't really need help because, you know, you're just doing it for the attention. You know that you're like self-aware enough to know that, or you feel like you're just doing it for whatever reason. It doesn't matter. Even if you think it's the most shallow reason of why you're doing it, maybe you thought, you know, you're self-aware enough to know that like, Hey, you had a friend who was doing it. So like you wanted to do it and now you can't stop. It's like, it can become addicting and, um, no reason is invalid at all. Um, just please talk to someone that you trust, whether it's a counselor um, at your school or an authority figure, a loved one, a best friend. Um, and if you are that person who is hearing this, realize that this person is putting a lot of trust in you and try to respect their wishes as long as you can. Um, at least this is just from my perspective. Now, if someone's saying, you know, well, I'm probably gonna kill myself. Um, yeah, you need to get other people involved. Uh, that person will hate you. That person will be so mad at you, but sooner than later, they might thank you. And if they don't, at least you saved a life. Who cares? Um, if you lose that person as a friend, it is what it is. Um, don't ever let your fear of losing someone as a friend mean that you're not going to protect them because I can only imagine the amount of guilt that you would feel afterwards. So always go through those steps. Um, 
And honestly, if you're really, really confused and you're someone who's just never experienced this and someone in your life is experiencing it and you don't know what to do, the internet is a beautiful thing. Do research about why people cut, why people burn themselves. I burned myself too. Um, why people experience this. What are the things that they get from it? And go to forums. Just read the posts. You don't even have to be active on forums. Just read them. And just try to get information and understanding and be proactive about it. And first and foremost, let that person know that you are there for them. But also don't encourage it and say, you know, it's okay, I get it. You know, do what you're going to do. Say to them, you know, I say say to them as delicately as possible, you need to stop. And I only say that because I care about you. And that doesn't mean that I don't want you to feel like you can't come to me after you've done it. Or if you're scared about something, like I don't want you to feel like you're isolated. Um, but I need you to know that I'm scared for you and that I care about you. Um, and it's a very tricky line to try to walk because you don't want to isolate that person. So be very delicate about it. That's all, totally up to your own discretion. But um, yeah, I mean, and this is, I'm sure you guys have seen, I have a lot of, I don't even know if you can see them. I have a lot of scars here. I have scars here. I have scars on most of my body. And if you're someone that went through this and is recently stopping and you're like, oh God, I messed up my skin and I've messed up my life and all this other stuff, stop. It's okay. Like, I swear it's going to be fine because... To me, I look at my body as a journal, and my skin is the paper. So all the scars here and all the scars everywhere are just moments of whatever I was going through at that time, which now looking back, I'm like, wow, that was really overdramatic for what I was going through. But hey, it was the most real, purest form of what I was feeling at that time, and it's okay. So. Don't be ashamed of your scars. And if you want to get them covered up, get them covered up. If you want to get scar cream, get scar cream. If, you know, do whatever you want to do, but that does not mean that you have to be ashamed of them or that you have to hate them or that you have to, you know, be embarrassed by them or hide them or anything. Because your body, to me, is a journal. And if I see someone who has gone through a lot of life, whether it's pain, joy, sadness, anger, anything that made them hurt themselves, I think, wow, I can learn a lot from that person. That person has lived a life and that person has felt something. And that's more powerful to me than anything else. And I'm not saying that in order to have experienced all these things, that means that you have to go cut yourself, obviously, but it's, I, I connect with people like that. That's just me. But if you are someone who doesn't, whatever, that's fine. Um, I'm rambling. All I'm saying is, if you are someone who has experienced this and you're feeling ashamed or embarrassed or you feel like you, nothing was even that bad, you shouldn't have done it. Because um, I think about that sometimes too. I still do. I'm like, why did I cut myself? Like, because X, Y, and Z, that was really dumb now that I'm 25 looking back 10 years. Um, but in the moment, it, it wasn't dumb. In the moment, it was the worst it could be at that moment for me. And that's okay, and that should be reason enough. And it is it is what it is, and I've turned it around since. Um, but I will leave a link, oh, a bunch of links down below. Um, for different outreach programs and stuff, things that, like even I have used, um, anonymous emails and stuff like that, if you're contemplating suicide or anything like that, people who actually 
respond to you. They're very well-trained professionals who are able to respond to you and kind of say like, Hey, I'm sorry, this is what you're going through. Can you tell me a little bit more? And you know, like if you're ever feeling anything, reach out, please reach out. And if you're ever feeling a certain way too, I encourage you to always, always get help. Um, I had someone reach out to me recently and I will not mention their name or anything, but it was on Snapchat and they told me that they watched my Invisalign videos and they felt really, really ashamed of their uh, sexual orientation. And they were thinking about suicide and they wanted to know what to do. And I said to them, you know, I'm not a professional, but I'm here for you and that I can't guarantee that I'm always going to be here to respond to you. But if you ever feel like something is going awry, like seriously, just put on one of my YouTube videos, you're hanging out with me. I mean, that's why I do this. Um, so luckily that person is okay as far as I know. Um, but it really made me think, wow, I need to share this story because if I don't, how many people are going to pass over my channel or anything and not get the help that I could easily offer them? Um, all that being said, please leave a comment down below. Um, if you want, if you've ever experienced this, any end of it, if you know someone who's done it, if you are someone who went through it, if you're comfortable enough with expressing that, um, or if you have any questions at all, from just someone who has gone through a little bit of life, um, leave comments down below. I'm going to be on top of these comments and making sure that I'm responding. Um, other than that, I hope that you guys have a beautiful week. It is my absolute favorite month. It is October. Um, that's why I'm wearing my black. And I hope to see you guys next week for another brand new video. Later.